When we think about invention, we really, we really first think about a problem that needs to be solved. And ultimately, sitting in a lab where we do both fundamental and applied research, our goal is to be able to implement something in an industry. We're really trying to solve practical problems. We're interested in making molecules. And really, if you, if you look at the world around us, from the fuels that we use to the materials that we use every day to the drugs that we take, these are all chemicals. So our vision is to be able to find a renewable way to make these molecules, meaning we can actually use bacteria and yeasts and other organisms to be able to produce these molecules in a sustainable, renewable type of way. It's something that's really coming of age. And we've been using biotechnology for thousands of years. And now with this genetics revolution, we have the capacity to engineer these cells specifically. So we can actually, for the first time, move from what a cell naturally would want to do and convert it, in our, in our case, into a chemical factory, a little microchemical factory, to be able to produce the new molecules that we want. Going out in the future, these biological systems are really going to be our new way of producing on-demand chemicals. You essentially have this little microorganism and sugar that you can feed it and have this great potential to make any molecule you'd want. So we have a lot of students in the lab, from postdocs to graduate students to undergraduate students. And, and really the thing that I look for the most is that spark, that spark and desire to want to study these problems. Research is not easy. Research is a road that's, that's rife with more failure than successes. And having that desire to want to do research, to want to innovate, to want to address these questions is the biggest thing. You can't teach motivation and desire. You can teach the skills of how to execute experiments. Failing is a, is a natural part of inventing. Science is always a mix of, of rational processes and serendipity. You get eureka moments all the time, and, and I, always, I always have this pad of paper where I can write down all these crazy ideas that we should try. And, and usually you can bounce them off of people and they're like, this is crazy, and that's exactly what you want to work on. Or you want to work on things that break the paradigm. Everything that we do excites me, and, ex and both because of the challenge involved and also the path to discovery involved in it.